Hello guys, welcome back. Let's start with the step from where we left. Uh, for the next step, we have to create a sample registration form. So, come to your IDE, go to project, add a file. Since we would be creating a GUI form, select so swing GUI form, go to next, write the name register, click finish, add a panel to your GUI form. Add two labels. Okay, and a button and two text fields. Since this is an example, we would be working with just two fields. If you want, you can add more fields. Now let's rename this label as username. And let's Rename this field as password. Okay. And now clear the text. Our text field one is for our username, and text field two is for the password. Now we rename this button. Let's say register now we want an event to be triggered when we click this button so we add an event now we have to write the action code here in this within these brackets okay this code has been auto generated by the IDE for us so now import this java file Java SQL dot star. Since we are going to establish a connection with our database now, and here, right, prepared statement, statement, let's say statement, initialize it with null. Now, write the try catch block so that we could trace the errors and the exceptions that could occur while the execution of our program okay so now let's write exception ex write ex dot print structures okay doing this will help us to debug our uh, program if any execution uh, if any exception occurs so now write the connection statement warning provide the details of your database that you're using okay since I'm using SQLite I would write SQLite dot JDBC since this is the pure Java connection now write connection Let's make a instance of the connection. Create connection and driver manager. Not get connection and write JDBC SQL light colon provide this the location of your database I created my database in my C drive so I would write this and I provide the name of my database now I write the statements sorry statement prepared statement I write connection Use the instance of connection that we created. Prepared statement. Since we want to insert the data that the user has in inserted in our Java uh, Java GUI form, so now we write insert into name of the table. In our case, it was user, 
and the fields username comma password now uh, we would not be writing id because it was an auto increment field and it would be added by the database itself we need not write it okay now continue writing the query okay now values we would write question mark comma question mark these question marks would be replaced by the text that the user would enter into the text field so we write statement dot set text uh, sorry sorry we write set string one question mark one would be replaced by text field one j text field one which was for our username okay paste it here dot get text okay now the same thing for the second question mark statement dot set text sorry set string is it two comma let's copy this one J text field two, which was for our password. Okay. Now we have to execute the statement. So we write statement dot execute. Okay. Now we go to our main, which is the entry point of our program. and this would call a registration file register.java file okay so we write register let's say rj equals new registration so we register because that's the name of the file that i provided so rj dot set visible since it is a gui form we need to make it visible Okay, true. Okay, now let's run it. Let's write um something like John, and again John. Okay, now click on register. Now let's check. Select star from user, and as you can see, that this has been added to our table, table user, and we again write something else like, let's say, apple and a ball. Okay. Now let's register, and again. you can see apple and ball okay so that's about it we have created our registration uh, sample page with gui now in the next tutorial we will be creating the login page so that we can authenticate the user against the value that he has already provided in the registration form uh, so thank you so much for watching